the Holy Spirit has a special work. Today topic is the Holy Spirit has a special work. The Bible is a girl 36.27 and they recorded like this sentence I will put my spirit within you. Have we ever heard about the power of the Holy Spirit? Have you received the power of God's Spirit? We might wonder, who is the Holy Spirit? You might remember the wonderful truth that our God is one. But he is revealed in three persons or three manifestations. The Bible tells us about God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God the Father made us. But our Lord Jesus, God the Son, came and died for us on the cross. God the Holy Spirit has come to generate us to give us a new heart and to live within us. The Holy Spirit wants to make us like our Lord. Now we cannot see the Holy Spirit, but He has come down to us long ago. In fact, our Lord Jesus went to heaven on the day of Pentecost. Jesus, his disciples and friends stayed together in a home in Jerusalem. Jesus told them to stay in Jerusalem. He said, you will until the Father sends you the comfort. So they waited day after day for ten days and the night. They really did not know who the comfort was. But they did know the comfort would come. Because Jesus had promised it, they prayed and sang songs, hymns, and they waited. And then, on that wonderful morning, they heard a noise, a loud noise like wind blowing very hard. About nine o'clock in the morning, but it wasn't wind. The disciples looked at each other and they saw little tongues like a flame of a fire, but it wasn't a fire. The little tongues sat on the heads of the disciples and his friends. There were 120 people. Suddenly, the Spirit of God was in them. The Holy Spirit filled their heart. And the little tongues of a fire was a sign to them that the Holy Spirit was there. Then they began to sing praise to God. 
more than ever. They began to talk about God. How He loved all of us. They began to talk about His Son Jesus. How He had come to die for us. Other people in Jerusalem had heard the noise like a wind. They came to see what had happened, and they heard the disciples of Jesus talk about him. These people said, listen, listen. These men are speaking all kinds of language. They talk languages of different people all over the world. They are telling everybody about the wonderful wonders and the works of God. They share like this. They ask each other, what does this mean? What has happened? Pete stood up and said, I want to tell you what has happened. This is something that God had promised long ago. You know that Jesus did wonderful and great things showing that he was the son of God, but God allowed wicked men to nail him to a cross. And Jesus died, but Jesus did not stay in the grave. These days, We stayed in the home. The Holy Spirit come down today morning. Three days late, he arose from the dead, and Jesus had ascended back into heaven. And he promised before he went and he would send the Holy Spirit. And now he has sent the Holy Spirit. What you see and hear is the work of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has come to help us. The Holy Spirit understand more clearly the story of salvation. He brings a conviction to the heart of man. This is the special work of the Holy Spirit. Pete shared this message to them. Yes. He makes men want to tell others about Jesus. The Holy Spirit makes men want to tell others about Jesus. And when people hear how Jesus died to save them, the Holy Spirit helps them understand and believe, and the Holy Spirit gives them new heart. The Holy Spirit makes men love and praise God. My friend, we are living in the wonderful age of the Spirit of the Holy Spirit. The Old Testament period could be called the Age of the Father. The period 
the carved by the gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is the age of the sun, but from Pentecost till the second advent of Christ is the age of the Holy Spirit. And God's Spirit is present in the world today. After you trust Jesus Christ by faith and repent of your sins, something wonderful will happen to you. You will be regenerated. You will be born again. The Spirit of God will take the Word of God and make you a child of God. You can be born again. Through the operation of the Holy Spirit today, now. The Holy Spirit wants to live in your heart and direct your life. Amen. God is calling us. We should respond his calling with a great pleasure. Who sent the Holy Spirit down to us. What happened when he filled the heart of the disciples? What is the special work of the Holy Spirit? Let's pray together. My Savior, living God, we thank you for your wonderful grace. O Holy Spirit, come and live in our heart. We cannot be God's children unless we have you, Lord. Unless you give us a new heart. And we pray that the Holy Spirit will reveal your love in us. Let the spiritual work come within me. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.